Hi everybody, Joe here, and today we're going to go over baseline. Uh, there's been some confusion over what baseline actually does, uh, and people comparing it to other design tools. Um, the thing is, it's not really meant as a design tool. It's it's for branding purposes, uh, to create your own brand kits and style sheets uh, for clients. Um, so let's let's take a start here. Scroll down. You want to add your new brand. Click new brand. Uh, we'll name it. Uh, I, Field House is one of my logos. That's the brand's name. Do you want to upload or do you want to create your own? Uh, the create your own I haven't really played with as much, but it seems to be working uh, with lo logo logy logology. But let's go to upload your logo. Now, currently, you have to have it in SVG format. Uh, I've spoken to the founder, and I believe he's working on EPS or .ai. This way, we have some other options. But if you have a vector file, or your designer does, they can display with the vector file. You can convert it to an SVG, or they can send it to you with an SVG. But you'd upload it here. You can search for the SVG file, the logo I created. And there's the logo. You can add a logo mark if you want. It's optional if you have a symbol or something else. That's my logo. It automatically, baseline automatically will convert it to uh, black on a white logo and the white inverse on black logo. Now for the color palette. Baseline basically with the AI detects the colors in the logo. So you have the color palettes here. You can adjust the color palette. You can add more colors if you'd like. Um, if you wanted to say, you know, have the support color be blue for some reason, but we'll just keep that. This is the brand's colors. If you'd like to add some gradients to the brand uh, style sheet, you could do that as well. I'll skip that. And then here we go. We have some fonts. So when you provide your logo design to a customer, um, you'd also want to give them the, the supporting fonts that go with the whole brand. Uh, you basically would discuss this process with them early on. But at the end, when the project is completed, you have to supply, you should supply a complete brand kit to your client. Um, so what Baseline does is it speeds up the whole process. So you can choose from Google fonts listed here. What do you want the heading font to be, subheading font to be, etc. The body font, uh, what would be used on websites, what would be used on stationery. Um, you can also upload the fonts if needed, but we'll just keep it open sans for now, but you can see they have a great selection. Keep everything regular, maybe just make this one bold. It changes the preview there. I selected my fonts. This would be the size font size the scale ratio want to change that up preview text you can change that to whatever you'd like and so now baseline has produced our brand kit from us uploading the svg vector file you can scroll down it'll set up the logos for you i would like the option though to add another logo um, and i believe it is on the baseline roadmap that we can have a secondary logo design or a color scheme to upload that would be really helpful um, but you can see this is pretty cool adds it all here you could download the logo if needed gives you the safe zone gives you some rules what not to do with the logo this is, this is great. The style guide is not just for uh, your client, but internally in, in the client's uh, company so they can hand it out to everybody to know not to uh, change the logo or uh, deviate from the brand guides that we've set up. The colors that were picked out, you can even grab the codes, provide this to your web developer, printer, the fonts that we selected. So it really, Baseline puts together a nice quick style guide uh, for you. And then you can actually share the link. You can make it public. This way anyone has this code, you copy and paste. You could edit the URL to customize it to the client's brand. Um, and you could hide the Baseline logo. So when you give it out to somebody, um, they won't see the logo. So basically, Baseline is for 
freelancers, graphic designers, logo designers, uh, brand agencies, anyone who is in the branding, logo design, graphic design field. Uh, and when you design a logo for someone, many will just send the logo over, but you run it through baseline, you, you give a, you create a brand kit and it just gives that extra something extra special to the client. Um, you know, and of course you can do this, you know, with Adobe Illustrator or Canva or other tools on the market, but there isn't a tool that automates it like baseline does. So if you're in this niche, um, the logo design community, you might want to check out baseline. Uh, I'm waiting for them to add a few more features, but it's a really good start. And uh, as you can see, it was pretty quick. And this just, again, you add it to the logo design. It just makes the package much better. Uh, you could even charge more. All right, so now we're back to the main menu of baseline. And I know I was saying, that this is a branding uh, logo design tool. And it's not like the other design tools that are on the market. And that's not even really a design tool, but we look at the homepage right here and it says, what do you want to design your designs? What kind of sorcery is this? You're probably asking Joe, you're telling me it's not a design tool, but it has some stuff about designing. Well, this is why I'm saying um, the the focus of the tool, what makes the tool unique is what we just went over, um, creating a brand kit uh, for your logo designs. This is just an added uh, bonus feature. And I'm sure as the platform develops um, more and matures more, this part can be very good as well. I just don't think many of us uh, would go out and probably buy it if it was just this uh, you know, design feature that's for social media, but we can go over it and show you how it works and it's pretty good for some quick stuff. Um, so we wanna hit a new design and then you could do custom size, you could do your Instagram post, story, Facebook, uh, whatever you'd like. Let's say we wanna make an Instagram post. Now, it automatically will uh, pull in your brand uh, kits. So I have just this one brand, so we'll pull this one in there, click it, and as you can see, it has the logo set up on the side for me, the ones that we have from the uh, brand style guide. Um, you can just click on it, enter there. We can scale it, shrink it, enlarge it, if you'd like. Um, you know, it's nice, it has, it has the brand text that we, we were using, so here's my superb text. You know, we could put whatever it like there. Um, comes with some nice elements. And as you can see, everything is uh, in the brand color scheme that we have. So it's pretty consistent. Um, so it's, it's nice to, if you want to create some social media um, images, designs, uh, little concepts, um, some quick fixes, it's pretty cool. It has some shapes, uh, has your colors over here. Um, we have photos from stock photo site, so we can do, uh, do a search sports, put in that picture. We could send it to the back. You can enlarge it. Um, I mean, this is pretty bad designing I'm doing here, but you can put the transparency in there. We can put the logo up here, um, have this person kicking it make them smaller. Um, it also comes with some templates, which are really nice. Again, you're not gonna buy this tool uh, for this part of it, the design part, uh, but I I like it. It's uh, it's nice, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a good start. Um, but for those of you out there that have Adobe and Canva and Crello, all the other tools, that's where we see the comments on social media, like, why, why do I need a uh, baseline? You probably, you might just be looking at this part of the tool. Um, and again, it, it's a brand kit tool. That's, that's, it's unique. Primary purpose is to 
Streamline the process of making uh, brand style guides for your customers. Having this, the design part, is just bonus, uh, and it's it's a nice it's a nice add-on uh, if you ask me. So yeah, check it out. You know, see how you like it. Uh, founder is a very cool guy, uh, very responsive, and he's listening to the community um, to see what we think. Um, and yeah, let me know. All right, see ya.